In this video, we're going to be looking at events and subscribers. So I've got a very basic uh, login system here. I click here to log in and then I can log out again. There's no form or anything. I'm just, uh, I'm just calling auth login just to save time and make just for time and simplicity purposes. So very quickly, let's look over the code. I have a root get for the homepage, which just returns a view. We have a login root, which just calls this. And we have a logout, which is just this very simple. And we have a view. Okay, so what I want to do in this tutorial is if we look in my database, I want to add another column here to say last login date. So I'm not going to fiddle around with migrations right now. Uh, Instead, I'm just going to create a very quick column. Last login uh, time. Uh, we'll just call it last login. And we'll set that to date time. Now we could put it in here. We could get the user. We could do something like this. User find to user last login. And then we could set the date. And then we could do user save. But instead of doing that, what I want to do is I want to use a event. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to fire an event. So I'm going to call this event auth login. And I think that's actually reserved. So instead, I'm going to call that auth get login. So I'm also going to store this inside a variable. So auth login user, and we're going to pass that in as a argument. So in our roots file, we're going to say event listen. We're going to enter the, the event name, so auth.getLogin. And we're going to pass in a closure. And this is going to take any arguments that we passed in this array here. So in this case, it's just a user. So now what we can do is we could say user, uh, what did we call this? last login so user last login equals new date time and then we can say user save okay so let's look at this in the browser we're going to hit login we get logged in we get welcome back terry we get no errors or anything a refresh in the database and we get our timestamp perfect now here we're storing this inside the roots file which is fine for small applications but what if what if we have a lot of events? Well, we'd want to create a subscriber for that. So inside Acme, I'm going to create a new folder called subscriber. This is going to contain a file called auth at subscriber.php. We're going to create the class. Namespace is Acme subscriber class auth subscriber. And we could probably just leave this as auth since we have subscriber in the namespace. So class auth, we want one method for now. And that was get login. So public function get login. And what I like to do is I like to uh, prefix this with on just so we know for certain that this is an event handler. And like before, this is going to take one parameter. So now what we can do is back in our roots file, we're just going to steal this, get rid of that, paste it in, and there we go. The final thing we need to do is just register these listeners. So public function subscribe events, and then we say events, listen, auth.getLogin, and by the way, we can call this whatever we like. It could be something different to the event name. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to get rid of the get. And then similarly to how we call a method in a controller, we're going to provide the class name. So Acme subscriber auth. Then we add an at symbol and then the method name. So on login. Finally, we need to register this subscriber in our in our roots file. And again, this would typically be done in a provider, but for now let's keep it in the roots file. Event subscribe, we provide uh, just the class name. So we can copy this. And 
Acme subscriber auth. Okay, and we also need to change the name of this file to auth. So let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at this. Log out, and let me just check the time on here. Okay, so 35 minutes. Log in, and we get okay. Uh, we didn't uh, provide a namespace for this, so new date time. Just add that global namespace. Log in again, and there we go. No errors. Hit refresh, and we get the new timestamp. Perfect.